what are the, what do we know about the interventions and are they different from what, what we already know? So we know a Mediterranean style diet, you're not eating a lot of red meat, lots of different kinds of vegetables with the natural chemicals that are in there like antioxidants and so on. Exercise, which has a degree of intensity to it so that you know, you're not just going for a casual walk with your friends, you're actually stressing the body. Intermittent fasting of various kinds where you're stressing your metabolism. Those are the things that people say are good for your your, your general metabolism. Uh, are those the things which seem to tie into a healthy epigenome? They are. That That's the amazing thing. Doctors and epidemiologists, nutritionists who discovered that kind of foods and lifestyles that lead to a health healthy lifestyle, a healthy uh, life, and also longevity, such as the island of Okinawa or the Mediterranean diet, they discovered these things independently from us who are working on genes and enzymes. But what we've discovered is that the molecules in those foods and those types of exercise turn on these longevity genes. There's sirtuins, but there's others. There's one called mTOR that responds to the amino acids and protein that we eat. There's one called AMPK, which responds to how much energy our cells have and how much sugar is in our body. And so in other words, what we've learned so far is that these types of diets and exercise, in it, well, I would say inadvertently, but, but not coincidentally, are turning on these genetic pathways. But what's important is that now that we know that, we can make medicines that are 100 times more powerful than you could ever get from a treadmill. And not only that, you cannot expect an elderly person to go running on a treadmill for 10 minutes a day. What we need is an IV or a pill that we can give them to revive them. So what do you do for you in your own life, apart from those things that um, you've discovered that's a handy tip for, in other words, that you've learned that you're trying out for yourself and not just your resveratrol from red wine? I mean, what, what are you, in terms of your behavior, your lifestyle? Yeah, well, I, I've been become a little bit of a, a role model here, uh, not really intentionally. I'm, I'm just a scientist trying to do the right thing. Uh, but the older I get, I, I find that the, the more interested I am in my own research. Uh, um, but so I'm, I've just turned 50. Um, my father's 80. We're both on a very similar program. Uh, we monitor what we do very carefully with with uh, rings like this um, and, and blood tests that you can get commercially, at least over here in the US. And we see what, what works for us and what doesn't. So we're not just blindly experimenting, but we are trying to see if see what happens um, in a very safe, controlled way. My father's also a scientist in Sydney. He can judge for himself. Um, so yeah, resveratrol yeah, I've been taking for 13 years. What? What's that? Go on. Sorry. Yeah, what's that? Oh, so this is called this an is aura Lord of the ring, O-U-R-A. Kind of. Uh, it'll tell me heart rate, uh, movement, sleep patterns. Uh, it's very useful for optimizing sleep. That's one of the great things about it. Of course, we've also got these devices now as well. So my point is that if you just pop a pill or do some exercise and you don't measure yourself, you're flying blind. Um, so um, sometimes I just uh, cut to the chase and I say I wrote down what we do in my family on page 304 of the book that I just put out. But I'm not trying to sell books here. I'm just trying to say if, if we don't have enough time to get through it, people can go see what, what we do in a list. But it's a uh, resveratrol. Uh, I do NMN. I take a bit of NMN, which is an NAD precursor that raises NAD. Um, I'm taking more olive oil since it was just discovered that oleic acid activates one of the main sirtuin pathways, just like resveratrol. So that's good for us. Vitamin D is important. Um, and also I'm taking metformin, which is a drug that is probably the, the, the craziest and danger, most dangerous idea that uh, I'll bring up, which is that there are drugs on the market like metformin for diabetes, type 2 diabetes, that have been shown in tens of thousands of people to slow down the rate of age-related diseases. So not just diabetes, but cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's, and frailty. Um, but you need a doctor's prescription to get that in Australia and the US. 